I'm going to be teaching you how to create better looking houses. I don't want you to build like anybody else. I want you to develop your own style. So I'm going to encourage you to learn these techniques and experiment on your own. A wooden box is super boring, but adding a heap of different walls and materials makes it more interesting. There's not one way to decorate a room. There's tons of ways, so you should experiment and keep on doing it until you find stuff that you like. If you don't know where to start, start with wood and stone textures. Wood comes in all different colours, but if you paint it all brown, it can all blend together. Learning materials and how different paints affect them will allow you to design better rooms without having to look at other people's rooms for ideas. Even negative paint can be used. Variety should also be applied to your light sources and your furniture. There's so many different furniture and light sources in the game and they can all be painted and used in different ways. Thickening up your build makes a massive difference. It allows your inside walls to look different to your outside walls and your floors and your ceilings to be separate. It also makes your build just look more sturdy in general. If you're building boxes all over your wood, it's going to look really ugly really quickly. It's very easy to change your shape. You just remove sections and add sections and experiment with the shape until you get something that you like. Roofs can be done in many ways, but I recommend learning the triangle early on because it can be still used even as you get to more advanced builds. These are just basic shapes that will come in handy when you're learning to do roofs, but as you get better you can experiment more with the shape and develop even more interesting shapes. But you can texture these using both blue and red dynasty shingles painted the same colour. You can decorate the inside of this triangle in many different ways. For this instance, I'm using grey brick wall painted white and using a gem spark wall window. You could also use stained glass wall to make a window. Fence posts in the corner stop it from leaking the wall out. Adding a lot of wooden or stone textures into a build makes it start to look run down, especially if it's got different shades. If you like that look, then keep going with it. But if you don't, then be careful with how much you add into it and which ways you add it. You can improve your shape more by building little extensions, signs, or even balconies. Another way to add shape is to build little tiny roofs with walls in the background and you can actuate these in or keep them at the distance and just put these all over your build and it'll add a lot more shape and make your house look a lot bigger. Hammering little blocks into the corners helps your rooms look less blocky. Also you can change your floor height, room size and room shape just to make them more interesting. I've just realised I haven't hammered that step there. Even at this stage in building, we can experiment. Making small changes and giving a build a paint job can completely change the look of a build. A building is only ever finished when you say it is finished. You could keep doing more to this and you could fix things up on it like the texture and some of the roofs and make it even more interesting. 